Yeah. Well, it was very different, and it because it uh, the action of wheel and deal is to set up facing lines. So how does it work for those of us who don't know it? Well, head couples lead to the right, circle four, and head gents break and make two lines. And then I've got lines of four, two couples on each side. And the standard action for wheel and deal was after the, those lines pass through. So they're now facing out. And the right-hand pair, couple at that point, wheel as a couple to face the opposite direction. The left-hand couple wheels behind them. And so you now have two couples, one behind the other, facing two couples, one behind the other. So very different formation from what you had Very before. different from what we'd had before. And what we then you got to go somewhere from there, so you double pass through. And the easy out is first couple go left, next couple go right, and we're back where we started. We've got the same lines that we started in. But we then had this other call that we added, centers in. And the trailing couple would step between the outside couple and then cast off. Cast off was a standard contra term. Uh, the two couples turn out from each other, three quarters around to face each other. And lo and behold, we're already in trouble because on one end we've got two boys together and on the other end we've got two girls together. And you can't do a right and left through, you can't do a ladies chain. What do we do? Well, let's try another wheel and deal. This time, the two that come in the front are the boys, the ones behind them are the girls. And so, double pass through, and what do we do now? Well, let's do it again. Center's in. And cast off three quarters. And lo and behold, now we got a real mess. Because on one side, we've got a boy on the left, girl on the right. On the other side, we've got a girl on the right, boy on the left. Two boys in the middle, two girls on the end. What in the world can you do from here? Well, do it again. And pass through, wheel and deal, double pass through, centers in, and voila, we're back where we started. Oh, be still my heart. <laughs> be still my heart, exactly. It's a triple zero. And zero, that's a sequence of calls. We remember those from the eight chain through setup. You did a whole series and ended up back where you started. That's a zero. Well, this was a call that if done a sequence of calls that if done three times, left you back where you started, a triple zero, three times to get to zero. And that was exciting. That was a whole new way of thinking about choreography. And Wheel and Deal is with us still. Yeah. And you've often talked about swing through as a, as a dramatic That was the next major change. And it changed from the line type of action and the goalpost around into the center do things, it changed into ocean waves. And ocean waves were a whole new experience. We had done them a little bit. We could do a do to an ocean wave. And we could have four people facing opposite directions, alternating directions, holding hands. And that was an ocean wave. We had a, a big circle wave that we called Alaman, Alamo style. And, and that was common from way back in the beginning. But here was an ocean wave that was four people. Uh, and it was two lines of ocean waves. That box that we had before that we were working with now turned into an ocean wave. And we started using it and discovered there wasn't anything we could do after we called swing through. Because we had this ocean wave with two boys in the middle and girls on the end. And there wasn't any, you know, you could pass through and you turn back, but there wasn't much you could do. And so very quickly, within six months, we had invented two new calls, run and trade. And that let us change that wave back into a line and also to move people within the wave, two people instead of four. And so those four together created a whole new form of choreography that is with us today.